Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Stellarium. Stellarium has not graced my YouTube channel in many a month, many a year even, but I'm here for a, a quick update video. Stellarium, for those of you who don't know, is a uh, kind of a sky mapping nighttime software, if you will. Uh, it, it, it's like a planetarium software, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, you can punch in your coordinates and put in the time and the date and see what's going on in the night sky. Uh, right now we're looking at June 17th, 2015, and uh, a little bit after sunset. Let me actually, just so you can see, there we go. This, now, now you're seeing what, what you would see in a planetarium. Uh, the stars, uh, you can turn on the constellations and, and all that fun stuff, but we're, we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is, if you've noticed, in the western sky, just after sunset, two very bright stars, which, spoiler alert, <laughs> from the software, were not stars at all. It's Venus and Jupiter. And as I increase the days here, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, the 20th was an interesting day, because the moon, Jupiter and Venus were all in this nice little arrangement, this this triangle, if you will, which was pretty cool. A conjunction, if you will. But what we're really looking forward to, as you can see, as the days went by, they're getting closer and closer and closer until today. The 30th of June 2015 is when they're going to be at their closest in the sky. Of course, Jupiter itself is much further out in the solar system, and then Venus is one lap closer to us in the solar system, closer to the sun, so this is all apparent, obviously, uh, to us here. But but right here, tonight, and perhaps it might be already too late for some of you, because they might have set, but just after sunset, uh, look to the west. Let me actually increase the time a little bit, so I'll get it a little bit darker here for us. And you will see both Jupiter and Venus less than a degree apart in the sky, actually 20 arc minutes, or 0.33 degrees, a third of a degree, which is uh, about two-thirds the apparent width of the moon, so you could fit the moon in here. Uh, these are all different, uh, what the heck is this? These are uh, just different star names and things like that, I, th I think. I don't think that really matters, but right now, yeah. Venus, obviously, is going to have kind of a, a, a what looks like a a moon phase, because it's on the inside track to the sun, uh, to us, and then Jupiter, through a telescope, or even binoculars, you'll be able to pick out at least two, perhaps four, of Jupiter's largest moons around there. Uh, uh, quite a sight through the telescope. I am actually, we've had some cloudy days here where I'm at uh, recently, but I'm going to try to bust out the old telescope. Uh, it would be quite a cool thing to even fit this into the same field of view through an eyepiece. Uh, might be kind of tough. Uh, at the most, you'll get a little bit of a crescent of Venus, and then you'll be able to see the, the moons of Jupiter and Jupiter itself. Uh, Jupiter gets really cool when you get more magnification. You can see the, the clouds and the stripes and whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. June 30th, tonight, just after sunset, look to the west, and you will see a conjunction between Jupiter and Venus. As the days go on, they're going to get further and further apart, as you can see, in the sky. So right now is where they're going to be at their closest, on the 30th. Of course, if you stay up a little bit later and, and look a little bit to the east, Saturn will rise. Um, the moon is pretty darn close to full, which doesn't make for great stargazing. It tends to wash out the fainter objects in the sky, but uh, if you do have a telescope and you you happen to have it out to see the, the Jupiter-Venus uh, arrangement in the western sky, take a moment to look a little bit east, and uh, Saturn is up as well, which is always a showstopper to see Saturn and, and the rings of Saturn and whatnot. But I just want to give you a little bit of an update. It's been quite a while since I've done any sort of astronomy-type update video. Uh, I haven't been... I haven't belong to an astronomy club in a couple years now, and I, it's actually just, uh, the YouTubes! You dang guys, and your YouTubes watching my YouTube videos, you're taking up all my time. No, <laughs> no, that's fine. But uh, I figured this was, this was worth mentioning, and I apologize if I'm letting you know about this when they have already set. They will be setting, uh, about, uh, 10 p.m., 10.30 local time, 
uh, depending on your time zone and where you're at. So you gotta you gotta get out pretty early. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning. And actually, you can sometimes see at least Venus uh, fairly early in the evening, just at or just before the sun sets. You can tend to to pick Venus out of the out of the sky. So that's that's something I just wanted to mention to you guys. And uh, like I said, I'll I'll be seeing if if the clouds part. I can uh, bust out the old telescope to see if I can see what I can do to see what is up and in the night sky. So yeah, just want to let you know about that. It's a pretty cool thing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.